what is up you guys film fan 0599 here again and today we're going to be doing another top five list and this is going to be the last top five list leading up to my best and worst of 2017 and this is my top five most disappointing movies of 2017 now this year has been a great year for movies, I really do think so, I think it's been a really fantastic year for films, but there were disappointments, there definitely were some movies I was looking forward to, but were ultimately disappointed by them, so we're going to be talking about those movies here today on my top 5 most disappointing movies of 2017. Now. One thing I want to make clear is if you enjoyed these movies, if you weren't disappointed by them, that's great. I'm glad you enjoyed these movies. These are just movies that I was looking forward to and I was disappointed by. And I really expected more from these. Now, before we get into the actual list, I do have some dishonorable mentions. And my dishonorable mentions are Free Fire, um, The Mummy, Atomic Blonde, and Ghost in the Shell. Those are my dishonorable mentions for my disappointing list. So let's get right into my top five most disappointing movies of 2017 with my number five and coming in at number five is Ocha. Now there's two movies on this list that a lot of people are not going to be putting on their most disappointing list but you know you know a lot of people are not going to have on their most disappointing list but I do so. Yeah, Ultra, I went to with a lot of expectations. You know, uh, the director of this film, his previous movie was Snowpiercer. I really loved that movie a lot. It was in my best of 2014, literally in my top 10. So I was very excited to see what this director would do next. And now I know this movie's been getting praised, and, you know, good for the people that enjoyed the movie, but for me, Man, was I just disappointed by this. It's really bad, honestly, this movie to me. I really thought Ultra was a really bad film from its just its sloppy story, honestly. The story is so all over the place with this movie. It's very unengaging and uninteresting. I just wasn't invested in this movie. And the lead character is so bland and so emotionless and the actress that plays her just doesn't do a good job of really conveying emotion and really you know giving a convincing performance to me I really didn't think she was all that great in the film and it really you know kind of downgrades the movie a bit because you know you're supposed to care for a relationship with Ocha but it's just not developed all that well to me and it's just developed in a way that's not making me care you know what I mean like it's not being developed in a way where it's you know making me care for their relationship and it's just not that all well executed and I really do think they could have done a much better job of that of really you know developing their relationship and developing why she cares so much about this animal this hippo hippopotamus slash hippo I like no that sounds stupid. Hippopotamus slash like elephant type of thing. It's like a hyper of that. And it just doesn't really make me care. Like I really don't care about it. The movie is uninteresting. It's boring. It tracks on forever. And don't even get me started out of how much the message is shoved down your throat down with this movie. Now, listen. I don't have a problem with it. I think the message is actually really good. I actually do really like the message of, you know... Um, do not try any animals. Like, I can get behind that message and appreciate, you know, that message. But, it's so shoved down your throat and it's just like, please stop being so preachy. It just, it gets to a point where it's way too preachy. I'm just like, just cool it. Just cool it just a bit. So, yeah, Ultra, really disappointed by it. You know, good for the people that love it. But for me, I expected more. I just want more out of this, honestly. So, yeah, Ultra comes as my number five. Number four, Alien Covenant. Whoo, man, this movie. You know, if I thought Ultra was a mess, dear God Almighty, this movie cranks it up to an 11 in the worst way possible. It's just, this movie, man, it, it's just, it's, it's so poorly... It, there's so much wrong with this movie. It's almost unbearable to watch. And I was so looking forward to it because the trailers were so great for it. It really seemed like they were going to go back to like the horror roots with this with this franchise. And in the end, this movie is really bad. It is 
It is so poorly executed. The characters are so dumb and so lifeless. Man, the characters make some of the dumbest decisions I've ever seen in a movie, honestly. Like, these have to be the dumbest batch of characters I've seen all year. The characters are completely stupid. Like, if you thought the characters in Prometheus were dumb, oh boy, you ain't seen crap yet because the characters in this movie make the characters in Prometheus look like Albert Einstein, dead serious, because man, oh man, are they dumb, like seriously, they make some dumb as hell decisions, and the acting is just lifeless as well, the story is uninteresting, like I just, I don't care, like seriously, the writing is so piss poor with this movie, seriously, the oh my god, like the screenplay with this film, it's so poorly written, this movie, it really is, the movie is so poorly written i'm just like who thought this was good like who thought this was good writing and not even really scott's directing is all that great it's honestly pretty bad with this movie and the visual effects oh god the visual effects with this movie look unbearably awful especially the xenomorph the xenomorph is one of the worst looking things i have seen all year dear god almighty is just the effects oh just, this movie is one big gigantic mess. That's exactly the best way I could put this movie is. One gigantic mess of a movie. And it's so disjointed too. Like, it doesn't know if it wants to be a Prometheus sequel, a prequel to Alien, or just a straight up Alien movie. It, it just it can't decide. It's so disjointed. It's so all over the place. I'm just like, what? Like, I'm literally staying there dazed and confused because... Just, I, I can't believe how unbearably awful this movie was. It was unbearable to watch. Seriously, it really was. And I just did not enjoy Alien Covenant at all. It's a pretty terrible movie and definitely left me disappointed. So yeah, Alien Covenant comes out as my number four. Number three. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Now, I know some people weren't too excited for this, not like they were dreading it or anything, but there were some, there were people that were like, eh, it doesn't look that great. Me, on the other hand, I was really looking forward to this. If you go back to the top five most anticipated summer videos I either did with Tony, uh, Gary and the Gang, or Diego, you would have seen that this was on my list. It was my number five. I was really excited for this movie, you know, because I really do enjoy the story of King Arthur. You know, uh, Guy Ritchie was directing it, and Guy Ritchie's a fantastic director, in my opinion. And, you know, Charlie Hunnam was playing the titled character, so I was very excited to see what they could do with this movie. And, man, just a boring, generic as hell, bland movie. That's exactly what this movie is. Like, I don't hate it. I know some people really hate this movie, but, man, just, I, did, I find it... Just boring and forgettable. That's exactly what this movie is. It is boring and forgettable. Seriously, it really is. This movie is just plain boring and forgettable. From the uninteresting characters to the uninteresting story to, oh my lord, the two worst things about this movie. The ungodly, uh, the, the action sequences and the editing are so bad. Seriously, it, it's really terrible. The action sequences, they are so, it's quick cut, um, shaky cam galore, that's exactly what this is, and it's so poor, it's, it really is, it is so poor, and so terrible, like, it's unbearable to watch at points, the action sequences, like, they're supposed to be epic and awesome, and it's just unbearable to watch because of how awfully edited and directed they are. And the visual effects, oh god almighty, the visual effects are god awful, a snake, especially involving a snake. Tony and I make fun of this scene all the time, because that's how bad it is. They went there with that, they went there with the giant snake, they, they really did, oh god. And the rest of the visual effects just look awful too, and not and not to mention this movie is boring as hell. Like this movie is two hours and six minutes, and it just bored the ever life out of me. I literally almost fell asleep in the theater while watching this because it was just that boring. Seriously, I did not enjoy King Arthur: Legend of the Sword. I really wanted to enjoy this movie too, but overall, in the end, it was just a pretty 
forgettable movie. Like, it's just like, oh yeah, that movie came out. Like, it's kind of like, I almost forgot about this movie. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Until I made this list, I was like, oh yeah, that came out. And it's just... Seriously, yeah, King Arthur Legend of the Sword is not that great. It should have been really cool, but in the end, just a pretty boring and forgettable film. Number two! It. Remember how I said earlier there was going to be two movies on here that a lot of people are not going to be playing on their disappointment list? Whoop! This is the other one. It. It, I was really excited for. I'm not, not going to lie, I was really excited for this movie. I had some high expectations for it. The trailers were great. The marketing was really fantastic with the movie. And it just looked like it could have been a really fantastic horror film. And the word of mouth was really fantastic with this movie. Too bad the movie wasn't that good. It seems like I was watching a completely different movie from everyone else. Because everyone seems to love this movie. And that's fine. You know, if you love the movie, you know, cool for you. I I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. But for me, it just wasn't that good. It was pretty bland, honestly. It's just, it was okay. It's just, as I would say, as this has now been memefied, as I would say in the review, it's just so okay. Like, it, honestly, it, it just, it really is. Like, it's just so bland, the movie. Like, the characters are uninteresting for the most part. I really didn't care for a lot of the characters. Um, the movie really isn't all that scary. Like, I really didn't think the movie was that scary, to be honest with you. Like, there are moments where it is scary. But really, for the most part, the movie really isn't that scary. And I just wasn't really that involved with it. Like, it wasn't that intense. I really do think they could have done a lot better with it. And the movie just goes so hard to go balls to the wall. Like, just tries way too hard to be kind of just out there and outlandish. And it just comes off as silly and over the top. And... It's just, it's so bad. Like, it comes off as corny at times, honestly. Like, honest to God, like, sometimes when they go balls to the wall and just outlandish, it kind of it's, it kind of comes off as corny at sometimes to me, honestly. Like, I really didn't think they do, didn't do an all that good a job with it. Same with Pennywise. Like, Pennywise should have been a really terrifying villain, but, you know, he has his moments. But, for the most part, I just really couldn't take him seriously. Like, Listen, I get it, he's Pennywise, the dancing clown, but it just doesn't work for me. I guess just this world doesn't work for me, because I didn't enjoy the miniseries, and I didn't enjoy this movie. So, I'm guessing just this world doesn't work for me. And it's just, this movie just came off as like a live-action cartoon at points, to be, to be honest. Like, I really did think so. Just the movie could have been a lot better. I think they could have done a much more of a better job with this film. And just overall, it just was mediocre at best. I really didn't enjoy it. So, yeah, it comes as my number two. Number one! <sighs> Justice League. <sighs> you know, Justice League, I... You know, I really wanted to like this movie. I really wanted to, you know. Listen, I have been waiting for this movie for a majority of my life, honestly. I've always wanted to see the Justice League on the big screen. I always wanted that, you know, because they're my second favorite superhero team. And I was so excited to see what they could do with the Justice League on the big screen. Man, is it just... This movie is a mess. It really is. It is awful. And it's, it shouldn't be. Like, this movie should have been epic in every way. But no. Just, it is so awful. They rush through everything with this movie. They rush through everything. From the team up to, like, to building up the team. They just rush through everything. They barely give any development to the new characters at all. Seriously, they barely give any development to these new characters and it's just, it's bad. Like, it's ungodly awful to me. Like, seriously, they rush through everything. And, and once they team up and become a team, I don't care. Why? Because it's so rushed. It's so painfully rushed. Like, seriously, it is so painfully rushed, this movie. They give barely any time to develop these new characters and develop these guys as a team. 
Now, I hate to do this and bring this up, but I have to. The Avengers. Look at what they did with that. They gave each, almost each character their own movie, their old time to build up their story, and once they teamed up, we cared for them as a team. You know, we cared for them, and, you know, they were nicely built up in the movie, and I cared. And once they finally teamed up and battled the bad guys, it was awesome to witness. With this, it is painfully rushed, you don't care at all, and not to mention the villain is like the worst comic book villain I have seen in a very, very long time. And just, this movie, I was left so disappointed. Like, I didn't care for Aquaman, I thought Cyborg was terrible, I thought the action sequences were really bland and generic as hell. I just, I didn't care about this movie. This movie is awful. It's painful. It's awfully written. The directing is even terrible with this movie. And this movie is so painfully rushed. That's my biggest issue. Is it painfully, it's painfully rushed. For a movie that is called Justice League, this should have been awesome. This should have been the event of a lifetime. But no, in the end, it was just a painfully, awfully rushed movie that... Just, you don't care about any of the characters. You don't care about if they're a team. You don't care for them as a team because it's so poorly developed. <sighs> yeah, Justice League left me really disappointed. And it's definitely my most disappointing film of the year. So that was my top five most disappointing movies of 2017. And, you know, let me know. What is your top five most disappointing movies of 2017? Leave it in the comments section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.